Let's get this bad boy open. Finally, got my hands on it. Yes. Yes, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where today I'm gonna be opening up a grail of a football shirt, one that I've been trying to get my hands on for years and they just do not come up, which is weird because they're quite a recent shirt. It's from 2019 and it is the AS Roma third shirt from that classic Nike collection uh, where they did the Atletico, Chelsea, uh, Barca, Roma and a few other third shirts, Tottenham as well. Uh, back in 2019, they released a load of third shirts and I think they are modern classics. And in here, I have that AS Roma third shirt. I'm just hoping it's real and I'm hoping that, yeah, it's in decent nick as well because obviously I couldn't buy it from a shop. I had to get it from a reseller and I paid a hefty price for it. I went over my budget of what I usually uh, do on my football shirts and what I'm allowed to spend on football shirts because it was a one-off and I just had to get it because it's been on my list for ages. So yeah, please remember to like, comment and subscribe with that red button bottom right of the screen. I'm going to be doing loads of unboxing videos and football shirt stuff and looking at all my collections. Um, so yeah, please remember to like, comment and subscribe with that red button bottom right of the screen. Uh, loads of football matches and stuff as well too and reactions. So yeah, lots and lots and lots going on. First of all, let's get into AS Roma, who for me have some of the best kit going, especially back in the day, those legendary glory days of Serie A. But first of all, let's start with these two. Two absolute worldy football shirts. When Adidas took over from, what was it, New Balance a couple of years ago, um, I didn't know what to expect because I loved the Roma Nike stuff. I loved the Roma Kappa stuff. New Balance did okay, but when Adidas come in, I wasn't sure of what they were going to do. And to be fair, they produced one of the great trios of football shirts in the home obviously that one the away which is that white one and that one which was the third and i love the name sets on there i love everything about these kits so fair play to adidas on that front because yeah they're classics uh and then onto this side another one from the nike era that i love it reminds me of that by munich shirt um that has recently come out that adidas have released with the trefoil logo and stuff like that um, love the colours, love that badge, similar to that one. Um, and yeah, what a shirt. But back to the oldest one I've got from the 90s with the one and only Francesco on the back, as I have with this. Yeah, classic. So yeah, Roma, over the years, I've had plenty of classics. Oh, how can I miss this one? This Kappa, the Kappa days. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when they went skin tight, when they did the combat stuff, yeah, cannot beat it. You've got Italy stuff, you've got Roma stuff, you've got Orzair stuff, from a Gibril Cisse rocking these, the white one with the PlayStation 2. So yeah, Kappa back in the day smashed it, and that Italy shirt, the blue one, blue version of this, probably one of my favourite shirts of all time. But, without further ado, let's get this bad boy open. As I said, I bought this from a reseller, so it is pre-owned. It's looking good so far. Get rid of that. Right. It is in decent nick. Just from looking at it, 9 out of 10. Can't see any nicks. Let's get this up then. I finally got my hands on it. What a shirt that is. That is one of the rarest shirts, one of the rarest modern shirts around. And I finally got my hands on it. Look at that pattern in the shirt there. That is insane. And you cannot get these anywhere. Look at the colors. Love the burgundy, love the sort of mustard color, and obviously the navy, and then the pattern going through the shirt. That is an absolute future and modern classic. After years of hunting, I finally got my hands on it. Yes! Now, without further ado, let's get it on the floor and take a closer look at this banger. Yes, and here she is. Look how good that football shirt is. Is that not the best Roma shirt, if not best football shirt of all time? If I come down here, look at that detail in the print, the jacquard. Wow. This is the fan version, it's not the player version. Um, and this is probably the most expensive one I own. I bought it for, I think, 150, which is crazy, because it probably retailed about 70 quid when it came out. 
back in 2019. But let's get into the details. This is an absolute banger, isn't it? I'm sorry, I just keep saying it, but what a shirt. So I bought this, um, like I said, I bought this. It wasn't brand new when I bought it because these are so rare these days, you can't get your hands on them. It's a tiny nick there, but overall it's in nine out of 10 condition, I'd say. Um, so the Qatar Airways is printed on. The Roma, the, the badge has been made before and then stitched on and then the Nike Futura logo, the best Nike logo there is, is stitched on as well. None of this sideways upward stuff that we've got going on the, this season. Get rid of that. It's all about this logo. Obviously where it's second hand, these have been worn off, but it is a genuine shirt. I do know that. But the thing I love about this shirt is the colors, the navy with the burgundy, with that sort of yellowy mustard type color. An absolute Roma classic. And back in the 80s and 90s, they had some similar. Uh, I think when Ancelotti was there with the Barilla sponsor. But what a shirt that is. And if you look at this pattern down here, you can sort of see it's got a mixture of the, the Roma Wolf or whatever it is, Wolf type thing. And then the ASR, which used to be their, own lo their old logo or was used uh, on their old stuff. So yeah, there it is up close and personal. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Don't think there is, no name set. Whoa, what a shirt. And there we go. It is on and it fits perfectly. I've got the Barca version of this in, uh, in an XL. And for some reason, the Barca one comes up a bit smaller. I've also got the Inter third shirt from this same one, the black one with the yellow Pirelli and the red Pirelli writing and the yellow cuff and stuff. That comes up a bit smaller. I've got that in double XL. But this as an XL, I mean, yes, it's a little bit tighter, but what a shirt. I don't care how it fits me to be fair. As long as it can get on me and I can get it over my big fat head, it's fine. What a shirt. Probably, as you definitely my favorite Roma shirt of all time. And like I said, it's definitely gonna go down as a classic. And it's so hard to get. And I paid 145 for this, 145 quid. I paid for this, which is well over my usual budget. I don't usually like going over 100 quid for a shirt, especially a, um, a second-hand one. But for this one, I just had to get it because they don't come around often. And I thought it might not come around again for a while. And with the condition it's in as well. It is in proper, decent nick. Um, but yeah, any advice for anyone buying football shirts? Don't ever buy shirts when they first come out. Wait for the sales or wait for a classic football shirts discount. They always have like a 20% off a few times a year for their birthday and stuff like that. Yeah, for resold shirts, I never like going over 100 quid. There are obviously some, like the England 1990 collection, that I broke the bank for because they're worth it and they'll hold value and stuff. But I tend to never want to go above 100 quid. But I thought it was worth it just for this because I've wanted it for ages. And like I say, they don't come around too often. And look, just look at that. One, four, five, take it any day of the week. Absolute banger. It's without doubt the best away Roma shirt in my books. What do you reckon? If not, what is? Some classics back in the day, the Barilla one, which this is very similar to. The Navy Barilla back in the uh, early 90s, was it? I think Ancelotti wore it. That's a classic as well. But yeah, for me, this one, the best. Now, one thing I do at the end of my videos is rate the shirts. It's usually when I'm unboxing new new shirts that people don't really know about, whereas this one's been around for five years. Um, but I'm gonna still do the rating because it's just what I do on the videos. And the rating I'm gonna give it is the highest rating ever. The Juve one I did, the Juve third, I got a 10 out of 10 the other week. But I'm giving this an 11 out of 10. I just absolutely love it. It's been sought after for ages. I've wanted it for ages and I finally got my hands on it. And I probably won't wear it now. Now I've got my hands on it, I probably won't wear it because I won't want to ruin it or damage it or whatever. But yeah, for me, 11 out of 10, absolute weldy of a football shirt, as a lot of the other Roma ones are, but none of them top this. There you go, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe with that red button, bottom right of the screen. As I said earlier, I'm gonna do loads of unboxing videos, looking at all my shirt collections and tracksuit collections and all that rubbish. Gonna be going out to a load of games, Borough, England, and hopefully try and get to some um, overseas ones as well in the Champions League and, and whatnot. Um, and yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Oi, you. Yes, you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you want daily football content. And if you've got any football-related videos you wanna see me make, drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. Bang.